What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly Reef Dork. And today I'm gonna to share with you my thoughts on and experiences with the Aptasia Eating Filefish. Now, if it's your first time here at the channel and you want weekly reefing goodness, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Right, let's get stuck in. Firstly, the Aptasia Eating Filefish is not an especially difficult fish to keep. They readily accept frozen food and aren't particularly fussy eaters. They'll be fine in small tanks of around 30 gallons or more and are unlikely to grow to more than a few inches at the absolute most. Although they are delicate little flowers and don't seem to particularly enjoy strong flow. But the only reason anyone buys them is because of their reputation as Aptasia eaters. And there's no doubt that they do eat Aptasia. In the space of a couple of months, my first one cleared out a full foot tank that was absolutely riddled with the stuff. And a quick Google will reveal countless success stories and even videos of them going at it like a pick at a potato. So they're cool, quirky, peaceful and eat Aptasia. The perfect fish then, right? Well, no, far from it in fact. If you do enough research, you will find plenty of stories of them cohabiting with corals, but you'll find just as many examples of them constantly nipping at corals. And that can include soft LPS and SPS corals. My first file fish went in this mixed reef tank. As soon as I got him, my Acans and Duncans receded, and they stayed that way until a few days after I took him out. In fact, I even used my Acans as bait to catch him when I decided enough was enough. He didn't seem too interested in my SPS or Zoas, but that might just be because Acans are just so delicious. They do look a little bit like marshmallows after all. And this guy is my second file fish in my current SPS dominated tank. This time he wasn't interested in my Acans, but he did find certain SPS polyps irresistible. He made light work of the polyps on my fluffy Acropora in particular, but also seemed to spend a lot of time nibbling around some of my Montipora, all the while steadfastly ignoring those pesky Aptasia anemones. Now I knew I was taking a punt when I got this guy, so I had my Aquamedic fish trap handy and pulled him out after just over a week. So I didn't exactly give him much time to eat my apps, many of which are quite big, so possibly less appetizing for him. But what I can tell you is that their natural behaviour seems to involve inspecting corals all day long and taking a nibble at anything that looks edible. And I find it hard to believe that many specimens will completely steer clear of nibbling corals at all. My view on these guys is that they're potluck at the very best and at worst just a ticking time bomb. And worst of all, they don't always eat Aptasia. And even if they do, the Aptasia is highly likely to return if you decide to move the file fish on. With that being said, I'm not actually saying you shouldn't get one. This one caused no lasting damage and the Monty he was pecking at recovered immediately, which suggests he was just nibbling, not eating those particular polyps. So you might find that any cores they nibble will survive, but just look a little bit sad. And in a big enough tank, they might even cause no noticeable damage. Or they may just choose one particular coral to nibble and avoid all others. And if you can get past the dull mottled brown colour, they're a genuinely cool looking and interesting fish that will add variety to any tank. All I would say is that you should be under no illusions that they are not a danger to corals, because they are. And they're not guaranteed to rid your tank of Aptasia. And if, like me, corals are more important to you, you should think about whether one of these is worth the risk, or at the very least have a fish trap ready in the event the little tinker goes rogue. As I said in my video guide to beating Aptasia, peppermint shrimp combined with something like kelp paste or Aptasia X are my weapon of choice when it comes to tackling Aptasia. But there's nothing wrong with trying a filefish, just so long as you go in with your eyes open to the risks. 